I got to uh, freshen up, I gotta curl my hair, I gotta put makeup on, and I gotta put Spanx on. It's a big night. Hello friends, good morning. Well, it's almost the afternoon. It is 11.49 and I have been a busy bee this morning. Right now I am cooking dinner. I am making corn chowder and I'm just getting everything in the pot. I do have a recipe on this and the link is below. Um, I'm getting dinner ready because tonight I gotta go to a very swanky dinner with Derek for work. All, everyone from New York is here. It is Monday so I have a lot to do and I've done a lot. I have done two loads of laundry. I need to fold the towels that came out of the dryer. I have colored clothes in the dryer and I've got blankets um, in the wash so my top blanket for my bed is in the wash and I can make my bed once it's dried. I've been working on dinner because I cooked up a ton of bacon this well not a ton but I cooked up some bacon this morning. I was cooking bacon and sausage this morning because my Zacon order came. I ordered um, 36 pounds of hickory smoked bacon. It's thick. It's gorgeous. They come in uh, 10 three and a half pound like bags. Beautiful bacon. It tastes so good. So I made some and um, so that's what I'm going to add to the chowder. And then I ordered 20 pounds of sauce, pork sausage links and they are beautiful they taste so good they cooked up beautifully and they've got this nice little spicy kick to them so they're not like a sweet breakfast sausage so i can add this sausage to any dish that i want a sausage in so i'm really excited about it so i have 20 pounds of that they came in two boxes um they freeze they're on like sheets frozen so what i'm gonna do which i'm hoping to get done here uh soon is start putting them in food saver bags food saver them up really get the air out so to protect them and put them in the freezer the bacon is in really good condition they're in tight tight bags so yeah so I love Zaycon I love Zaycon everything that I've gotten from them I'm absolutely loved they deliver really good um, fish and poultry and meats to an area in your town and you go and you drive up pick it up open the back of your trunk they stick it in it's fantastic so it's a quick quick thing and um, I love it I love Zacon I'm so glad I found them so if you're ever and I love showing you guys Zacon because some of you have gotten things from Zacon for me showing it to you and I love sharing it because I want you to see it and because um, you always wonder when you want to order things in bulk like oh is it any good well I like it well, my friend Tiffany orders some Zacon, and she gets the bacon all the time. And so I, she cooked up bacon one morning. Um, she cooked bacon up one morning, and so I went over to try some and brought some to Derek, and it is so good. It's thick. It's gorgeous. So when I cooked it, I cut it in half to fit in my pan. But it would be great baked. Oh, my goodness. Really, really good. So... Yeah, we've got bacon to last us a while. Our freezer, I love being stocked in the freezer because one, you can bless somebody else with it when they need it. And two, it helps when you're menu planning and saving on a budget. So by me like forking over, you know, $130 toward this food that's coming to go in my freezer, I can plan that in my meals. So then I can only go to, then I will only go to the store for like the, you know produce and stuff like that so I actually love cooking and um, stocking up this way because it really does save money and it's good quality food love it uh, so the next time we go up to their house I'm gonna bring them up a pork loin the sausage the bacon and they can try it with everybody the family that's up there and if they like it then they know they can order it so yeah but I'm telling you those pork sausage links oh my gosh they're good. Callie's going to be happy because Callie is not a bacon girl. <laughs> she rather has sausage, so. It'll be perfect when I'm doing my breakfast freezer meals because then I could take out the links that I want and cook them up, so yum. Okay, so I'm going to get finishing on this corn chowder 
and then finish my um, weekly home blessing and then um, get ready I don't have much time so I gotta get pretty I gotta I got to uh, freshen up I gotta curl my hair I gotta put makeup on and I gotta put Spanx on it's a big night it requires Spanx okay here is the corn chowder so the kids will have this as their dinner tonight and they're gonna love it they love corn chowder it's got red potatoes because that's all I had left red potatoes cream corn bacon onions oh it's so good so their dinner is done it's 12 30 in the afternoon and I don't have to think about the kids dinner it's done it is pouring out <laughs> hi Austin I mean we are drenched and we all and we're that far from the door isn't that funny it is pouring so just grab Boston and where I'm we going scared. where are we going and I'm scared oh don't be scared it's just rain all right off what to the big, tutor mom what if the big block of hail comes and hits the window oh it's a risk I'm ready to take Boston Whew, the crazy rain stopped thank goodness I just like it's, you saw I don't Boston is in Boston's with this tutor so I am gonna head to the Walmart here in this town to go run and grab um, some good nights and um, a new like snake for the drain I had two snakes for the, my drain like shower drain and I don't know where they are like they completely disappeared so I'm gonna run to Walmart and find a snake drain to pull the gunk out my shower is clogged everyone's using everyone's using Derek and I shower right now because I don't know what's going on with the kids shower and the hall bath but water will drip from the pipe down into the food room so um, I'm just like oh, man. so I gotta call the plumber to come out and look at that it's a good thing that the that part of the basement's not finished for in order for us to see it or else you know there'd be a water damage issue so grateful that we don't have that part of the basement done yet um my hair is still wet for my shower that i took i put my hair up because i'm gonna curl it but i'm showered my hair is still a little wet but that's okay i'll go home and dry it after i pick up the kids in school spray some dry shampoo because i washed it yesterday and um curl it yeah i'm a little behind today but eh, who cares right it'll always be there waiting so no big deal have a building to leap in a single bound <laughs> so, <laughs> we're still going with that joke you're having ice cream it's four o'clock and Jonah's already dived into the soup. He loves this stuff. That's as far as my bed got made today. <laughs> the sheet is on it, the sheet blanket. The other blanket, like I said, is in the wash though. And I'm fine with that. <laughs> oh, and everyone's asking me how are we liking our new bed and we're loving it. Um, it's very comfy. I have a hard time getting out of the morning with it. So really good sleep. We're really happy. Okay, so for this dinner that we're going to, I gotta look nice. So I've got this Lou LaRue. I can never say it. Lou LaRue. I can never ever say it. Dress. It's a little big on me, but it'll work because I'll keep my jacket on. Um, and then this dress that I love that I'll wear with it, all of these, I'll wear my black boots with. Um, there's this one. Um, and this short one that I wear with leggings and boots. So they all kind of look the same, but they all fit a little different. So, I don't know. I'll be wearing Spanx with all three if I, you know, which one I pick. But there'll definitely be Spanx involved. So, yeah. I guess I gotta try them on, right? Okay, I chose the far left one. I'm more comfortable in it. Um... I don't have to worry about a neckline or arms um, and I have some tights with boots so I got yeah so I'm gonna do this one 
now I just got to go do my hair and makeup and uh, look somewhat decent and not so scary. So I'm going to curl my hair and put my makeup on. But it is pouring, as you saw. So I'm going to need to bring an umbrella for tonight. And I need to leave the house soon, like within the 30 minutes. So much to do. And I got to find my purse. Oh, I know where it is in my closet. Okay, I got to find my black purse so I have it. Can't really go walking in with my big pink handbag. <laughs> oh, I wonder if that's Derek. It is. Hello? Hi. Hi. Um, oh, that's a new one. I just came up with that one. Sugar plum with a nice thumb. <laughs> I like it. You're like, you're funny. What's up? Um, I'm walking to my car. I'm heading home. So we talk together. You sure? Um, you have enough time? So I can spend more time with you. Oh. Uh. Because I didn't respond to one of the emails. So Are you serious? There may be a chance we get there and it's not there. What email? I just saw it about 15 minutes ago. Derek didn't respond to a second confirmation email about tonight. So we might not have a seat, which means we could leave. Yeah, and that would be sad because we want to go. I really I know. my job. I know. <laughs> Darn it, we'll just have to pull up a chair next to somebody and... No, no, we don't need to go that far. That would just be rude to... You know, Andrew, we'll just I know. leave. We'll just but. leave. And we'll go to the movies looking like this, all nice. But if we go to the movies like this, we have to get the luxury seating. Okay. Dude, these theaters now that are putting the luxury seating in, where were these when I was pregnant? Remember that time when we went to Pirates of the Caribbean and I like fell asleep and I was so uncomfortable? I could have used the luxury seating that recline and feed up. I really could have used that. All right, so we're off. We're all fancy schnancy. These are the earrings that I have. I have to say I'm kind of disappointed in Charming Charlie's lately. Um, I know they're a cheaper brand of jewelry, but pretty much everything I got except Oh no, these are Walmart. These are Walmart. Everything but one bracelet that I bought one night, everything's broke. A watch broke, bracelet broke, pair of earrings broke. So I am highly disappointing, pointed in my purchase and I don't think I can bring them back. So yeah, boo. So Walmart, <laughs> you're killing it tonight. He's so handsome. He's so handsome. All right, let's go be fancy, Derek. Fork in the left hand, knife in the right hand. What? Fork in the left hand, knife in the right hand. To cut your meat? Yes. And then you have to put your knife down and switch yes. back to your right hand. <laughs> With all this proper silverware stuff, seriously, can't I just... You sit down at a table, there's all these forks and spoons, and it's like, which one do I use? I took yeah. classes. I yeah. Know. But it's still intimidating when you sit down. But I'm like, it's. Yeah, I don't no. know. I just like to eat my food and not. I know. Have to so cut sweet. it, set my knife down, switch hands, eat with my fork. What is tonight? Like, what is this thing that we're going to? It is a 20th anniversary of a partnership. Between uh, companies that we got acquired. I work for a company called Dentrix. It was called Dentrix. It's now Henry Shine. We were acquired 20 years ago, and tonight is the 20th anniversary, and I got invited to go to the dinner. Yeah. So. And everyone, there's a lot of people lately that are asking, what do you do? I told them CIA, but no one believes me. I'm Chandler from Friends. <laughs> You're I've a, got a job, but no one knows what I do. <laughs> You're a pros, pros, prospector. Processing something. That's not even a word. <laughs> Trans, transponster. That's it. That's not even a word. So, and what do you do there? I manage uh, the development team for one of our software packages. And now you guys know. You can sleep better tonight now. I know. 
So here is the view from where we're at for the banquet. It is gorgeous up here. This is Cedar Hills and it's stunning. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I did that. Okay. Did you see what I just did? You I just my sign knocked over. the sign off the wall. Okay, let's. Um, I'm that good. You, you need careful. You need to tell them what you told. I need, I need all these people tonight, right? All these people that Derek works with. Well, I've not met him before. He he tells me something that made my heart pound in the car. After we meet, I'm glad he told me after the dinner. Tell tell them what you told me on the ride home. Um, I didn't. Well, you said something. Well, um, we were leaving, and uh, the president of our local. Um, branch of the business um we said goodbye to him and he brought up with kimmy he's like oh yeah you still doing that blog thingy i'm looking at him <laughs> like how the he double hockey sticks do you know about this and so we corrected him it's a blog <laughs> but yeah kimmy was like oh uh, what yeah yeah no I'm, I'm doing that so anyway we're walking back to the car kimmy's like so how does he know about it and it made me remember something that I sort of put out of my mind. And, On purpose. Um, <laughs> you put out of your mind. I was like, oh, yeah. Um, we had an executive board meeting. And uh, it was one of those all-day brainstorming things, you know, planning and stuff. And going through some big items. We had people here from Europe and Canada and stuff all up in this room. And during lunch with everybody... Um, it's just, it's right around the time I had my beard and that, that bust that was made for me by uh, one of my uh, friends at work. Um, everybody wanted to see the bust and so um, one of the guys at work who knows about the, the blog just brought up the blog and it got put up, you know, on the screen. And in the people, executive office, the big they, screen in the executive office. In the boardroom. Yeah. yeah, so instead of these professionals, you know, doing their job, they pull up She's in Her Apron yeah, so in watched, the boardroom. We watched She's in Her Apron and watched you know, blurbs from it and it became the topic of discussion for the lunch and things. And so Kimmy didn't realize half the people she was meeting tonight and some of them for the first time, they already knew she had a blog. And, and I don't it. talk about the blog. I'm not like, hey, did a YouTube channel. No, 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 I don't do that. So yeah, I'm going, I mean, yeah, so now she knows. I don't know if she'll go to dinner next year, but we'll see. <gasps> he tells me this in the car, and I'm like, what? Mom, so, yeah. Mom. Oh, apparently mom is needed. What's going on over here? Jonah, uh-uh, stay out of it. Bedtime in the Hughes home. There's crying, what? tears, beatings. What? Can you scratch me straight in my back? Ooh, scratches. Oh. Welcome. Welcome to Susan, alright, friend? Enjoy those kids, though. They only stay little for so long. Yes, they do. Our daughter right now is in the office on the computer checking out some colleges. It's depressing. It's depressing. But I have to tell you, the highlight of the night was, one, your dad getting recognized. Yes. I loved yes. that um, 20 years of that merge together and your dad being recognized as a founder and it was just special. So met the president of the company, this is my second time meeting him and he just had wonderful words to say about this man right here and it just made me a proud wife.
And every time he... I paid him to do it. No, but like, this is the second time me meeting him. I can't move. I arm, my and... arm's going down. I can't hold it anymore. It's the second time meeting him, and he has just had wonderful things to say about Derek, and it gets me emotional. I'm like, don't cry in front of this man. And so I'm just so proud of you, and I'm proud of your dad. And Derek's worked really hard there, and worked from the ground up, and did it on his own. No help from his dad whatsoever. And I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Sorry there wasn't much in this vlog today, but I'm gonna end it here and get out of this dress and put some sweatpants on and edit I like this here. Her in sweats, not <laughs> <a> dress. <laughs> so thanks for joining us today, and I hope you guys are doing good. Hope you have a happy Tuesday, and we will see you soon. Toodles. <laughs>